Hi, my name is Håkon Stronde, and I'm a program manager on the Microsoft Dual Screen Developer Experience team. Our team role is to work with you, the app developer, and provide you the SDKs, tools, and guidance on how to build great dual screen applications. Today, I'd like to share some details about the development experiences for these types of foldable devices, and how many of the principles apply to all foldables and large screen Android devices. I'll share a few interesting application scenarios and get you started on adding foldable support to your application. Let's start. This is the Microsoft Surface Duo 2. What do you think? It makes me want one. Before we drill down into the software and the developer experience, let's cover some of the unique hardware features that the Surface Duo has. This device is thin and light. It's the thinnest 5G and foldable mobile device at 5.5 millimeters thin when it's open. The device sports two 5.8 inch screens, HDR support, and 90 hertz adaptive refresh rate, up to 15 and a half hours of local video playback or 28 hours of talk time. The Duo 2 has a three lens camera system, wide angle lens, telephoto lens, and an ultra wide lens too. Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, 5G, NFC, one eSIM and one nano SIM. And all that is running on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888. And in the middle of the all, so to speak, the flexible hinge. And on the software side, Microsoft Surface Duo and Duo 2 allows you to run two apps side by side, giving you more room to focus and less context switching between apps. You can easily drag and drop content between two apps across the two screens. Many apps are already enhanced, meaning they are optimized to utilize both screens. These apps have more screen real estate and more opportunities to interact with users. App groups allow you to launch two apps at the same time, one on the left pane and one on the right. The hinge allows flexibility for several helpful device postures. You can hold the device open, just like a book. We call this dual portrait. This is helpful for your morning reading of emails or catching up on your to-dos. The device also supports pen note-taking to help you be more productive on the go. When you're making a phone call, you can flip the device to one side. And when you're watching a video or playing a game, the tent mode can come in handy. When the device is closed, you can pick it up for a quick glance on missed notifications or just check on the time. We call this peak mode. On the new Surface Duo 2, 
we added the glance bar that gives you the time and notifications without opening the device. Let me show you some of the benefits of more screen real estate in your pocket. Uh, in this example, we have two apps running side by side. Teams for your video conference, along with PowerPoint, showing the deck that's currently presented in the meeting you're attending. When two apps are running side by side, drag and drop can come in super handy. In this example, you can easily drag content from an email and into your daily to-do list. Your app may become more useful for your users with drag and drop source and target support. Your app can provide lots of dual screen value, even when it's running on a single screen. In this example, clicking an attachment in an email launches Word on the other screen, keeping the user in their flow with less contact switches between applications. Consider what kind of activities and intents your app can launch on the other screen. Application groups are combos of two apps that will launch in a single click to each of the two screens. In this example, I can easily plan my day having my emails on the left screen and my calendar on the right screen. Both apps launched at the same time. When I want to read a specific email, I can go into a reading mode, spanning Outlook across both screens and get more screen real estate that way. Okay, there's lots of opportunity to build better applications when you have more space. So let's talk about the tools and support we have created to make that easier for you. Our goal from day one is to meet developers where they are at. We do so by enabling all major mobile platforms to create experiences for these foldable devices. From native support using Kotlin and Java to cross-platform solutions such as Xamarin, Flutter, and Unity for game developers. For web developers, we have SDKs for developing dual-screen web pages, web apps, and PWAs, along with React Native and Cordova support. We're also in the process of adding support for Power Apps. Whatever pro programming language you are comfortable with, you can explore the value of more screen real estate for your application. Our tools also work on your favorite integrated developer environment, or IDE, be it Android Studio, Visual Studio, or Visual Studio Code. The developer content is ready for you now, and you can access it in our dual screen documentation shown here. Start by downloading the emulator today, and then try out one of our built-in samples that we have integrated in the emulator. Our samples cover SDK usage, the dual screen controls, layouts, and some best practices. We are adding them in our monthly releases, so follow our blog posts for more news. And you might have noticed, the emulator now includes a new button to flip and fold the device and control the hinge inside the emulator. This is a contribution we recently pushed upstream to Google and is now available natively in the Surface Duo emulator. There are many ways to explore the value of foldables for your app. And here's one way to think about the approach. A three-step process to adapt your application for foldables like the dual screen devices. Start by testing your application on dual screens. You can use the emulator for that. Second, you can make small incremental changes so your app will work better when running side by side with another application. Then, and this is where the magic happens, think about what you can do in your app with two screens to present your content. Let's dig a little deeper into these three steps. When testing your application, make sure you don't make aspect ratio assumptions in your code. This can affect the placement of UI. Also, avoid locking your application to a specific orientation. Foldable devices are meant to be versatile and used in multiple postures. So try out all those scenarios when testing your application. When making changes to your app, consider adding drag and drop support as we mentioned earlier. Your app can be a source for content or as a target destination or both. Look today at one of our samples. They contain code for you to copy and paste into your app. You can also think about interactions your app can do on the other screen. With a one-line code change and adding a flag to the start activity, your app will launch content on the other screen. You can also launch other applications and intents to complete your user flow. Embrace the additional space you have on foldables in general and specifically the two distinct screens the dual screen form factor provides. To explore, there are several different UI design patterns for you to consider for your UI flow. Think about the different layouts for your app's content and how these can improve when you have more screen space. How would you arrange your UI and how will it affect your interaction model? 
Consider how your application can take advantage of the various orientations and modes, such as dual landscape, dual portrait, when the device is flipped, or when the device is in tent mode. Let's now look closer at some design patterns that may make sense for your application. Extended canvas is one big layout that spans across both screens. Use this pattern to get more screen real estate and present more content to your user. This can be great for showing images, maps, zooming in and out of large canvases, and great for drawing or viewing spreadsheets. The list detail pattern can be great for fast email browsing, showing search results, or other specific details on the other screen. The two-page design pattern can come in handy when you provide your user with reading materials, such as a book, a magazine, or just for presenting long, pageable content. Dual view is a pattern where the same content is displayed in two different ways, adding value to the user's comprehension of the object. It can come in handy for comparison of content or showing a before and after view, for instance. Companion pane is a pattern where one screen displays controls for the content on the other screen. For example, a gaming app can place the gaming controls on the bottom pane and the game itself on the top. A video creation app can use the other pane for editing controls and additional settings. Now, let's talk about the developer experience. The first thing to reason over is the hinge. It's there and we draw underneath it for total app flexibility. To help your app be hinge and screen aware, we worked with Google to add native support for dual screen and foldable devices. This is now included in the Jetpack Window Manager package and ready for you to add to your build Gradle file. You can use these APIs to understand the device orientation, postures, spanning mode, and if the device is a hinge type or a foldable screen type. So, We've added more libraries and dual screen controls to help you. The Screen Manager is the core library with classes for screen info. You can add listeners to get notified when the screen mode has changed, so you can change the layout in your app accordingly. The Surface Duo layout has a single screen mode or dual screen mode. It has two containers, one in span mode and one container in single screen mode. We also have controls for bottom navigation, a tab layout, a recycler view, and more and more is coming. The hinge angle is the angle calculated between the two panes. For example, this is the 180 degree angle. On Surface Duo, the hinge is fully flexible and can support angles up to 360 degrees. We expose the raw data as one of the device sensors, and you can register to get a callback when it's changing. Follow our samples and think about how you can utilize it in your app. What you saw so far is our native support but we want to meet developers where they're at. Let's see some of the cross-platform support that we have ready. If you're a React Native developer, we have an SDK for you, containing a qualifier, a dual screen aware control, and multiple samples. We also recently partnered with Google to add foldable and dual screen support for Flutter on mobile. Check it out and look at our announcement with them. We're also adding more samples for Flutter in the next few weeks. If you're a C-sharp developer, we have Xamarin and Xamarin Forms support for your dual screen apps. For dual screen game development, maybe using the companion pane design pattern, we got you covered with a screen helper to automatically reason over the hinge for the Unity engine. And if you're a web developer, we've added new web standards for dual screen layouts, including CSS primitives and JavaScript Windows segments APIs. But our support doesn't stop here. In addition to support for developers, we've created a Figma design kit focused on our dual screen design patterns. The design kit can help designers in your team create great looking applications for this form factor. Another way to get started with dual screen development is to take one of our learning courses. We put together a nine unit module on Microsoft Learn that focuses on building dual screen apps using Xamarin Forms. We've also partnered with Google to create a foldable and dual screen code lab focused on Kotlin and the usage of Windows Manager library that I mentioned earlier. Another great source of learning is our weekly dev blog. Since the announcement of Surface Duo, we've been posting weekly blogs with tips and tricks, code samples, and SDK announcements. Check out our blog, ask questions in our forums, and let us know how else we can support you. Let's look closer at one app leveraging the additional screen real estate that these foldables provide. Outlook supports Android tablets and foldables with list detail views that are great for productivity. That large screen tablet list detail view translates naturally to dual screens, 
it's super easy to open Compose on the second screen or another application that you can then drag and drop between. Outlook even added support for viewing your mail and calendar at the same time. When planning the support for dual screen, Outlook had to be a bit pragmatic in their approach because the Outlook app has over 100 activities. Not every activity even has enough content to make use of both screens. The Outlook engineering team focused first on where the most time is spent in the application, in mail, calendar, and search. Second, they optimized the other activities so nothing would be showing up behind the hinge. Let's go into more specifics. First, the list detail view in the mail module. On tablets, Outlook has a draggable resize bar. For Duo, the Outlook team updated their code to use the Display Mask API to detect if there's a hinge. If there is, they put a spacer there instead of the resize bar. Note, the Dual Screen Development Kit provides a view called Surface Duo Layout that can do this detection for you. In their case, they updated the app's custom list detail view. Next, the Outlook team wanted to cover all other activities. Outlook makes use of Android's Dialog When Large theme in many places, like the Favorite Folders activity in the first example. Duo automatically positions this on the second screen when spanned. The second case, shown here, is an example in the app's onboarding experience. The Outlook team built a container that would put their existing view on a single screen, avoiding the hinge. They also added the ability to show some fixed content on the opposite screen so it wouldn't be empty. A lot of this work translated easily to other foldable devices. For example, even without the hinge, they enabled side-by-side -side Compose for other foldables like this one. The Outlook team wanted me to share some of their advice. Get familiar with the Duo SDK and Jetpack Window Manager. Prioritize your most used views for the best experience. If you still have more activities left to update, consider avoiding long strings or centered content that will appear behind the hinge. I've included a link here to a blog post that describes more about our list detail view. Outlook Mobile looks amazing on the Surface Duo, and it's great that the same code runs on other foldable devices as well. Make sure to catch the Outlook dev blog that we mentioned to see more details and the code. I'd like to recap some of the items we discussed here today. Follow our three steps guide to get your app ready for dual screen. Step one, test your app. It should just work. Step two, make small changes. Consider drag and drop, launching activities on the other screen, or adding pen and inking support. In step three, think about how you can utilize one of our dual screen design patterns or your own design pattern to add value to your application. Dev resources such as SDKs, samples, the emulator, and our design kit are ready for you to download today. Follow our weekly blog, our Twitter account, and our Twitch channel. This is where you can catch up on our frequent updates. It's been a pleasure talking to you today at Ignite 2021. Get in touch with us on Twitter or GitHub. We are so excited to see what you will create with foldable devices like the Duo 2.